Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about forgetting stuff. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, oh, uh, this is actually, yeah, uh, hi Frederick, my friend, I'm feeling better now from your suggestion uh, about giving me the advice to build more projects. So for context, this is the same subscriber who reached out regarding taking notes versus doing like project things and I basically suggested that uh, it's very important for you to as quickly as possible get to a stage where you feel secure enough to make small projects. They don't have to be big, it's just that doing is better than theory when it comes to software development in general, like in, in, just in general, like there, theory is good but doing is also very good. I now want wonder uh, how should I keep remembering the concepts that I am learning? I feel I'm getting a better understanding of concepts now that you suggested to me to build projects, but I'm worried that I for will forget uh, as I progress to more advanced projects. Well, so this is uh, this is pretty much life right there my friend uh, you have to remember that if you think back to I mean I don't know how old you are but I'm a million years old and I, I can't remember the things that I learned in school about things that I never do anything with anything I really need I mean, uh, if you put a gun to my head and ask me how to, I don't know, name different types of rocks or trees, maybe I know one or two trees, I'm just going to have to take the bullet, I'm very sorry. And that's the thing, right? It's the same reason why most people suck at math, because you don't practice anything more advanced than maybe a little bit of addition and multiplication at times. And if you never do that, well, you're not going to retain anything. And it's the same thing with software development. So as an example, if you take one single course, uh, introductionary course or something like that, to say computer science or whatever, and then everything you ever do from there on out is like CSS. Well, you're going to be really good at CSS but you're not going to remember what you learned most likely at the very least about computer science and so you don't have to stress about this thing because what I usually say this is not a hundred percent accurate all the time but what I what I like to say is that which you repeat is what will stick with you and if you don't repeat something it is not worth remembering now what I mean by that isn't that anything you learn that you don't do all the time is like worth this, in worth this information, not at all. What I'm saying is that you don't have to stress about committing it to memory because it's not something that most likely you're, you're going to need all that much. What is very valuable and that is something, it's, I've made a few videos about that, uh, like well, if I only could give one tip to like a fresh software developer, someone who's going to just kind of get into it, it is to acquire really good googling skills or uh, not necessarily googling skills but having the ability to find answers to your questions if that makes sense and that is something that is very very much the case here because the reality is that some things you will remember and some things you're gonna have to look up because you keep forgetting trust me I am the first person to admit to this. I, uh, there is not a single day that goes by without me looking up something. It can be anything. Like just today I had to refresh my understanding of a few of the configurations that you find in a TypeScript configuration setup because I was doing a code review and I could for not for the life of me remember what the specifics were of these different values and so I looked it up. And there's nothing weird about that. That's literally every single developer, every sing most of the most of the week, like every single day practically. And it's the same thing for you. So what's most important is really that you practice projects that are going to reflect the work that you're going to do in real life. And that, my friend, is the whole reason this video exists and the whole reason I sit here, that's the whole reason this channel exists. It's literally the only thing I care about 
to and this is I'm not gonna say I'm completely unique because that's uh, there's a lot of people making a lot of videos about very many things that are awesome in software development but my focus really is at all times to only show you things that are directly taken from the actual industry it's not this is like we're, we're, we're only focusing on that because I believe that if I, I truly believe I stand behind it 100% in uh, m practically everything that I've ever said on this channel anything I've ever shown you whatever it might be if some of it of course has been like demo things but primarily I will say that anything you've he heard on the channel should be completely obvious to someone who's working in the industry or you're going to face it in the industry. I'm not saying that you have to agree with me, I'm just saying that you should have seen the concept because there's no... we're, we're, we're not dealing with things... theory here, we're dealing with things that actually represent what we're actually gonna do when we do the actual job and that is exactly the thing that you should focus on because some things, as I said, you're not gonna retain it and you don't have to worry about it because you're, you're as long as you have that skill to go and find the information by yourself and figure it out, you're gonna get a refresher and that's really all you need. Uh, I mean, as I said, I look things up, everybody looks things up, you can't remember it all. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're worried that you are gonna practice a lot of projects and then you're gonna forget things from previous projects, don't sweat it because it, you, it's gonna happen some of the stuff you're gonna retain and some of the stuff you're not gonna retain uh, my dad used to say that uh, the the key is repetition and I do I do truly believe that because what his, his saying was basically that whenever you repeat something it is like that you put a little notch of in your memory in your brain like you put a little like a marker saying that yeah okay I've registered this now and that fades but then you do it again and then the notch gets a little bit deeper and then you repeat it again and again and again until it sits there and it's not gonna go away it's like embedded into you it's part of who you are what makes you you and you remember it forever and that is why I urge you that uh, urge you to at all times try to make things that are a good reflection or are a reflection of what's actually happening in the real world and if you're unsure about what that means etc etc that's a whole different video uh, I have many if you if you're interested there's like old videos about you know people asking similar questions about what type of portfolio projects should I make what type of things should I make etc etc so you there is information out there guys and it's not just on my channel there are tons of people who can give you like a good idea of what is relevant and what's not relevant. I know it's scary, but start somewhere and don't sweat so much that you might forget some things and you need to look them up because that's part of becoming an experienced developer. In the beginning you look things up like literally every five minutes and it takes hours because you need to like read through so much stuff to just understand how this little thing you want to do works and it's gonna suck a little bit. It is. But muscle through and I promise you it's gonna go faster and faster until you don't even have to look some stuff up because you just kinda know how it works and then you're a senior developer and you can make your own YouTube videos or whatever you might wanna do. Have a great day!